Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 33 of Last FIFA 15 and we are continuing what I would call Mission Impossible because, um, yeah, we need to win games and we did actually end off the last episode on a bit of a winning streak, getting two wins but still, at this point in time, we need five wins out of our next six games if we want to win the title, so, um, yeah... It is definitely a, a difficult thing to do, in my opinion, especially in Division 1. And uh, I come up against a Bundesliga side for the first match, and I tried to pass it to El Shaway in the middle. It went up to Balotelli. He got the ball back straight away. Some nice skill moves, to be fair. It didn't look like I touched him, but he went to the ground, got the penalty, and Lewandowski would make it 1 0. So yeah, talk about getting a bad start to this game. We played three minutes, I'm trailing 1-0. Just the absolutely worst start. But straight from the kickoff, uh, we get going with a few skill moves. We played on through to Balotelli. I missed the shot, but he went with the slide tackle. I got the penalty, very lucky, and I will make it 1-1. Bounce back straight away. So a lot of stuff ha happening in the start of the game. But after that, it slowed down quite a bit and not as many chances. But here, look at those bounces. I just couldn't get the ball away. A finesse shot on the post. The rebound. Oh, I was so happy he missed that. That oh, It would not have been fun trailing that way. But um, uh, in the, into the second half, I'm able to play a through ball to Balotelli. Chip his keeper. Make it 2-1. But 83rd minute, substituted Dumbia gets on the ball and... The the AI center back, the one I was not controlling, he just turned his back to Dumbia, let him run on by, and that would make it 2-2. And I was looking to get a third goal because, yeah, we needed to win, but I could not find the back of the net. So, to be fair, um, based on the game, the, a draw was a good result because he was definitely not a bad opponent, but the division is looking really bad now. Three draws, two wins. Yeah, five games left, and we need to win every single one. If there's a time to pull off a crazy winning streak, this is the time, because we need to win every game. Uh, now, if I want to, to get the title, else we'll need to give the division another go uh, a third time, and to be fair, I don't really want to do that. So, going into this game, I was just looking to win uh and that is usually what I try to do in these division games. But this one, I was just like doing everything. Like if I had to sweat it, I would sweat it. Because I needed to win every single game. So uh, yeah, we go up 1-0 pretty early with Bedimo, my left back. And we get another goal with Quadrado. A little bit lucky to get the rebound there. 2-0 it is. And one minute after, we're on the ball again. Vinaldo on it. Breaking on through into the box. And uh, yeah, it falls to Quadrado. He picks the ball up. Goes past the defenders. And he will make it a 3-0. And at this point in time, I was pretty confident. And we get another chance uh, on through to the Ciclio from Quadrado. He plays it on to uh, Ibarbo past the keeper. And it's 4-0. And after that, he let go of his controller and I could just wait. It was just... I hate people who drop their controller. I wish just like on pro clubs, like if you drop your controller on not, not there, you just get kicked out of the game. And that way you just get the win because she just dropped the controller... And yeah, it was just a bit of a waiting game here. And I, I didn't pay attention to the match. And then all of a sudden, he came back. When he realized I wasn't playing, he wanted to play. Because then he thought he might be able to win. And he would just run on through. I was not paying attention here whatsoever. And as you can see, he would go on through to score a goal. And after that, like I realized he, he was back playing. And I could actually play the match. So uh, I got on the ball with Depay here. And I was able to go into the box here. Try out a shot, but it went wide off the goal. Get another chance. Ibarbo on the ball. I tried for something fancy as I had a pretty comfortable lead, but I uh, missed the little look away pass uh, on the post there. And another chance for Ibarbo getting into the box, beating the defender, trying out a bit of an ambitious shot at the near post. But it was saved, and at the end of the day, we won the game 4-1. to one. So, uh, yeah, pretty good win this was. And, uh, yeah, now we only need four wins. It's just like a bit of a countdown and... Uh, four wins, can we make it three, can we make it two, can we make it one, can we win the title, I don't know, but uh, at least we got a win, and I continue with the same side of, uh, of the two squads I have, this is the one I feel most confident with, Ibarbo, Quadrado, and Depay on the top is a pretty good combination, and uh, we go into our next game, 
And it's a bit of a Bundesliga slash La Liga side. Uh, in form Müller and in form James Rodriguez. Not a bad team whatsoever. And he just plays a long through ball. My defender do not doesn't get onto the ball. Rodriguez runs down the line. And I was kind of anticipating the cut in. But he could still play the cross. And Müller makes a 1-0 in the 6th minute. Second time in this episode, we concede an early goal. But at 12th minute, we're on the ball. Ibarbo, he breaks on through into the box. And I really thought that was a penalty. But unfortunately, it was not. And instead, we get another chance to pipe breaking on through. And we hit the post. Ugh, this game was doing my head in because I literally could not score. It was one of those games. We break on through. And we cannot find the target. It was just the picture of the match. Ibarbo on the ball, trying to get into the box. Quadrado gets a shot in. Uh, it's just wide off the post. Again, like, I literally could not score. And this is not the time not being able to score because I need to win games. And I was just missing shots until finally 65th minute. I somehow get a goal. I make it 1-1. One and one. and uh, yeah, now I was just pushing for that 2-1 uh, goal. And we break on through Woody Barbo. And he saves it again. And instead, he breaks on through with Muller. And that is pretty much game over. 2-1, 13 minutes left. And I need two goals if I want to keep my hope of the title alive. We hit the side netting there. We get another chance. Ibarbo on through to... Uh, Kudrado on through to Ibarbo. We hit the post again. And I I was going insane at this point in time. I hit the post three times in this match. But in the 19th minute, we break on through with Ibarbo. And this is stoppage time. And we need a goal. And he he's going on the attack here straight, straight from his kickoff. Looking to get a goal as well. And I'm able to get the tackle in. And I was just thinking, I, I need to score. I need to score. I have one attack. And if I miss it, we are starting over again in the division. I play down the wing to Ibarbo. I try to beat the defenders. They get a tackle in. A bad pass. It falls to Ibarbo. To Quadrado. On to Depay. To Quadrado, to Vinaldom, and how does that go in? I don't even know. But two 90th minute goals, I keep my division run alive. In the final seconds, I win. Ah, oh, that was just a roller coaster ride of emotions, that match. Uh, two goals in the 90th minute, it was absolutely ridiculous. But I got the win, and now we only need to win three more games. It's still a tough task, but. It might be possible. Um, three wins from our three next games. We'll get the title. That will be in the next episode, guys. We'll see if we can get it. Or maybe we'll have to start over. We'll see. But anyways, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. I'll be back again tomorrow. And that's all. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.